people call me Cancer Girl and stuff. I wish that I had hair, but I just haven't gotten hair. Now, my first guest is the mom of a very special 11-year-old. Her daughter was born with a gorgeous head of hair. But as her daughter grew up, as a very young child, about three or four, her hair began to fall out. And now she's totally bald. So let's meet her now. Kim, come on out. Kim? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Do many people do that? Huh? Nobody kisses your head? You have a pretty head. Thank you. In fact, it, in fact, they teased you a lot when you were growing up, didn't they? Yes. When did it start? When did it start teasing? As soon as all of my hair was gone, they started teasing me. When, like, when I walked around stores and stuff, they, um, they made comments to about it. And my mom used to tell them some about it. But still, it wasn't that good. I bet, I bet some of the kids probably thought you had cancer, didn't they? Yes, some people called me cancer girl and stuff. Is that what happened, Janet? They started thinking of her that way? They really did. They would always ask questions, well, what kind of treatment is she doing? What's her life expectancy? And different questions like that that would kind of put a bad light on it and would make her feel really bad. But we ought to talk about what happened. When she was, what, three years old, she had a gorgeous hair, head of red hair. Bright fire engine red. It was just as red as could be and just as thick as could be. And what happened was when she was about three, what did you discover, Janet? She had a, about the dime size of a spot on the back of her head that was missing. And we just didn't think much about it at first, but we got about two or three more and it just kind of progressed really fast and in less than a year she was completely totally bald. And then of course you found out what was really going on. We finally found a doctor who did tell us, yes, it was alopecia areata, but that's all she could tell us. She, as far as she knew there was no cure, there was no not really much treatment, not really much of anything. And despite the fact that of the awkwardness that Kim must have felt, and maybe the embarrassment from time to time, you kind of felt the slings and, and arrows of this. There was one time that CPS was called our Child Protective Services because we were accused of neglect. Why? Because, because without the hair, they said she, that we were not taking care of her physically. Have you ever thought about having hair, Kim? Yeah, I've wished that I had hair, but I just haven't gotten hair. And I always wish that I could get hair, but I, I always have this one strand of hair that grows, but then it just falls out. <laughs> I see. And uh, I guess you're at an age now where you would like to have a wig, but uh, uh, I guess, was it too expensive, the, good, the ones you really, would? really, the ones, the How good much would ones? they cost? We've heard anywhere from $2,500 to $3,000 or more. I have to fess up to you, Kim. I, I told you all a lie. I told you a fib. We said that you were going to come on the show to talk about alopecia, and, and it's a subject, by the way, in the past that we've done. But that's not why we have you here. You know that? We have you here for another reason. Because we've got a surprise for you. And this is the surprise. It is a show about good news. It's not a show about alopecia or anything else. And here to give you some good news is somebody you met at the National Alopecia Conference in Washington over the summer, and her name is Shannon. And do you know who Shannon is? Come on out, Shannon. Shannon, come here. I just hope you um, like it as much as I like mine. Okay. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Oh, wow, you got a piece too, Shannon? Well, oh, you got a, oh, I see. I got it. I see what's happening now. Now, what's going to happen? Stand up here, Skim. Now, Janet, you okay here? Now, this is, this is what's going to happen. That, this wig costs about $3,500, all right? And uh, it was donated to you by uh, New Hair Technology here in New York City. And a stylist is backstage, and she's ready to style your hair and make you look great. So by the end of the show, when you come back, nobody's going to know 
anything about what you look like, okay? Even though I kind of like it like this. I like it like this, Ken. But if you want, if you want hair, you're going to get hair, all right? Thank you very much. We'll be back right after this. So we're all back on our good news show, and, and we're kind of happy about it. And the only piece of unfinished business, of course, is uh, Kim. And I'm not going to let anybody see Kim until now. And now everybody can see Kim and her new hair. What do you think? Janet, where's Janet? What do you think, dear? I think she's lovely. Well, I don't care what you think. I want to know what she thinks. What do you think? I like it. You do? Gosh, it's great. It's real hair, too, because I can feel it right now. It's terrific. Thank you so much for coming, Kim. Good luck to you. Good luck to all of our guests. We're just so happy that we've made just a bit of your life a bit more happy. Thank you very much. All right, Tom, take us out. Bye-bye, everybody. Until next time, America.